YouTube, here we go. Hey, I don't want to make a uh, habit out of this, but you guys were so um, responsive to the last one, so I just want to say thank you. We had a huge surge in subs after the last callout, so much appreciated, guys. We're on the race to 10,000 before the end of the year, and I think we're going to make it now if you guys keep it up like that, so let's head to the video. YouTube, here we go. We have got more ranked replays this time. We've got AJ versus I Ricky. I Ricky, you have seen a lot on stream before, played in the Fear 500 Season 2, and has uh, played many a show match. Has done a good job when playing on my stream, as well as Johnny's. He did a really good job as the Smug finished up. Right around Smug, I think 6 and 8 he might have played in. Uh, he beat Mile and Chronic and showed he was one of the better 1v1ers in the game. But on the other side of the field is maybe someone with a much better argument for uh, best 1v1ers in North America at least. He doesn't play a lot of show matches, but the most recent tournament, the DreamHack 1v1 for North America, the one that I believe we were talking about how Razier's won for EU, AJ won it for NA, and I don't think Daniel played in that. I want to say it was age restricted, so only players 15 and up, or maybe not. No, I think it was 13 and up. So you know what? I'm not really sure why Daniel didn't play, or maybe Daniel did play, and AJ uh, was still able to take the win. Very possible, but AJ about to get some open field and pinch this ball with Ricky. Uh, I'm really excited to see AJ play. AJ plays with a very interesting style, um, and I think there's a reason why lots of players like to watch him. As he recently joined the FaZe Clan with him and his team. Nice wave dash off of the flip reset in the air. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. You'll see that from AJ regularly. Um, I really like to watch AJ stream 1v1s, but I'm not sure that he has been streaming ones lately. He talked about on Twitter that he was going to stop streaming for a bit instead switch to YouTube content um, as RLCS started up and he wanted to make sure he focused on it with his team. Look at those wall wave dashes. I haven't really seen anybody use the wall wave dashes reliably in a way that uh, makes me believe they're worthwhile, but it's obvious that it's coming. Um, players are out there trying to use them as much as possible. This time it sent uh, AJ way too far past the ball and it actually gave Ricky a goal, but I like the creativity and oh my goodness the double just booming it all the way from his own side of the field as soon as the demo happened to see if he could force the ball to the net before the respawn and he just barely did so. Ricky with possession in midfield. His bounce dribble does not turn into much and he's left a bouncing ball right outside the 18 yard box for AJ and normally that's absolutely the danger zone for him. He's going to play it on the ground. Surprised he resisted taking that bounce up into, oh my goodness, up into an air dribble because it seemed like the kind of situation that AJ always does that. And then after playing a nice ground play and getting the ball in front of the net for free, he touches it too hard and can't get around it for the side flip. Ricky, the air dribble bump. And at right around halftime, he's going to tie the game up. 3-3. Three to three. We have three different replays, by the way, talking about 3-3 three to three that we're going to watch today between AJ and Ricky. I believe they all happened uh, about a week ago on the same day. So three games, same day, just a little over a week ago between AJ and Ricky. Not sure if AJ streamed it or not, um, but I'm sure the YouTube comments always seem to know. There are a lot of people who do watch AJ when he streams, so... They certainly could have seen these games. He's going to get a wide open net to take a fourth. Ricky going to his uh, wave dash kickoff so far in this series with AJ. He likes to use the late wave dash and the race to the midfield boost because weight finds it so important to win. Did they double demo here? Okay, they, they did double demo. I was like, Seems like both of them should have got that demo. But AJ's going to win the race out to midfield. And the ball rolling into his half is going to give him the advantage. 5-3 as AJ tries to pull away in what has been a very close match. You saw 
AJ going for the wall wave dashes again there on his way back to his half. That might seem like the first way that you'll see players start to use these. Just kind of open rotations back into position using those wave dashes. But I'll be not surprised at all if we start to see it being used in actual situations. It's a great dribble in low 50 from AJ to get himself an open net and a sixth. Ricky could afford to get a couple kickoff goals here. Although he does get the first shot online. He is not able to score it, but a nice flip reset dribble for the corner. And he notches it in the top shelf. Ricky not going down easy. Minute left to go. Two goals to make up. Another nice kickoff win. If he could play this dribble off the wall, it would give him a great spot. But having to start it so high in the air can make it really tough. But AJ's inactivity on defense actually let Ricky almost get a good shot attempt out of it. AJ having to just barely send it away over the crossbar. Nice fake. The breezy setup fake by AJ to get Ricky in the air and then popping it up over him. Nasty play. AJ extending the lead. Another kick up in his favor. Not a great situation for Ricky. He's going to challenge from the ceiling and AJ gets the flip reset and Ricky's going to forfeit. He knows he's being sent into the shadow realm here down on the other side of the field and AJ was certainly going to get an eighth. So Ricky will forfeit this one but we got a couple more games to watch of these two. AJ versus I, Ricky, game number two. Ricky has had enough of the Fennec. He is in the octane here as we are on Beckwith Park for the next ranked game between these two. AJ, what's he doing all the way at midfield using his flip while hovering above the ball, which is just going to completely kill his momentum. He's not going to fall down with it. And basically handed it over for free. Ricky, a nice bounce play. Tried to go low, but AJ did a really good job of the Mac wall of covering all the angles. Not letting Ricky just immediately hook shot the ball to the top shelf and also covering that low 50, which is ultimately what Ricky did try and do as that possession went on. Ceiling wave dash reset to pinch, but Ricky is there. And AJ trying to greed it out a little bit too much. He might actually get scored on for that. AJ needing to realize when the shot attempt is over, but a desperate attempt to uh, finish off the clip. Certainly if he had wave dashed that into Ricky and then pre-jumped the clear and dunked it in, it would be a nasty clip. Ooh, Ricky, what a tight angle. 2-0. Ricky, in the first minute, taking an early lead. Took AJ till around halfway through the game, I think, to get a considerable lead in their first one. <laughs> Wait a second, oh no. Ricky just bumped AJ back onto defense <laughs> where AJ could get the clear. And then AJ just taps it up over him. What an assist by Ricky. Hi right, Ricky, the wave dash kickoff, gonna get him a wall to air dribble. A great setup, he should be able to do a lot with this, but tries to just dribble it into that top corner which is somewhat easy of a read as a defender to save. What a great spot from AJ. A five head respawn from AJ. Could have been in a much worse spot. Another dribble from Ricky, just barely offline. Ricky having trouble finishing off this play. AJ tried to bait Ricky in, but Ricky did not fall for it. I mean, he did come into challenge, but you saw him turn wide off the ball right as AJ looked to smack it away. Maybe good recognition that since AJ was hovering above the ball on the wall, there was only one thing he's going to be able to do because normally challenges with that player on the wall are really, really hard to do. Oh my goodness, AJ's a madman right now. He might have just used the uh, wave dashes that we were talking about for his advantage. As he zoomed back, trying to demo Ricky and then getting around the ball and just turning so quickly, quicker than I expected, quicker than Ricky expected. And he was able to find an open net just using that pure speed on the recovery right through the corner. AJ trying to milk out a dribble. 
but when is he not doing something like that? Did he just get the ceiling reset using the ball? Not able to hit the musty, and Ricky will get a wide open net. And certainly that is one of the main knocks on the AJ playstyle. We used to see, you know, Night Owl a long, long time ago. Came from the freestyling game, play kind of the same way. Almost a little bit too much in search of a clip to the point where you end up handing a few goals that you would have uh, maybe been able to win the game if you didn't give away, but this time pressure from AJ means Ricky has to try and clear the ball across his net with no boost and he can't give it enough power. So AJ within one, a wave dash kickoff of his own. He's got himself a wall to air trouble. Did he get that flip reset? Everybody's cheering in the crowd like he did. <laughs> But he's going to go low to the ground, and he's going to keep Ricky from jumping up in the air. So whether he got it or not, it was enough of a threat that Ricky felt the need to not come up and challenge him. The low 50 is going to work, and AJ in another one of these situations. Another great grab of the flip reset. This time, he takes it to the ground and side flips it off the crossbar and sneaks it in just inside the far post once again. 5-4. Just like that. AJ a few clips and now the lead in his favor with a minute 45 left to go Ricky with a lot of open field back to his ever reliable bounce dribble he's gonna try and go for a bump AJ actually almost got back down to that landed on the back wall there and then needed to find a creative flip to get in front of it but couldn't quite do so 5-5, five, five, a minute 30, and AJ just winning that 50 on the side wall and had the boost to make the play, bring the ball to the net when Ricky did not see reset to the corner to try and pick up 100. Ricky, man, he does not give up on midfield boost. Do you see what I'm talking about? I've always talked about Ricky and how hard he fights for it, but that was a great example right there. He had already lost it, certainly, and yet... He still tried to flip in front of AJ, and even though he didn't get it, it does force AJ to speed at, you know, his maximum speed to the side wall, and means his ensuing shot attempt will be a little bit more awkward than it would have otherwise been. Ricky getting an open net here to go up 7-6. But, you know, a crucial thing to do, you could argue, against a player like AJ, you don't want to let him have his free wall to air dribble even when he wins uh, the race to the midfield boost because he is one of the most lethal wall to air dribblers in the game Ricky was he worried about the demo AJ was so far away he was jumping for no reason it seemed and then he just chips the ball off the back wall and AJ gets the easiest of goals Ricky obviously feeling the pressure of the speed that AJ has and even though AJ is nowhere within the realm, he's worried that he's coming up behind him. Ricky with no boost in midfield. AJ with everything in the world. A smart early turn by Ricky to challenge AJ. He knows he's in a really tough spot. Ooh, I think he just got away with one. As AJ misses just inside the near post. AJ... Not a lot of boost for the full field dribble, but not even the long shot is online. He won't even win the race. AJ with a couple mechanical mistakes late in this game. A great pinch. Oh, Ricky was going to have an opportunity to double. But AJ takes him off the field, and likely there'll be one last shot attempt for AJ in this regulation. The full field dribble. He needs the double, but Ricky bumped him away to prevent the double. AJ losing back to his corner, but able to get first possession. Ricky shadowing close. Convinces AJ to pop the ball away from him early. And Ricky dodging the demo there by getting his back wheels up on the top of AJ. That's life 50. Oh my goodness, these guys just slammed into each other. I do not know how AJ did not get the demo there, though. Ricky, a flick, crossbar and down. Not able to finish off this game. Can AJ get an open net shot here with zero boost? Doesn't look like it. 
He will use it to steal the back corner and loves these challenges. He does not want to give Ricky three possessions. We saw him earlier in the corner turning the challenge. This time he's going to stay close and backflip to break up the play. Is he going to get a respawn? He's not, so he only has 20 boosts. He'll turn back around to get the 100. And Ricky pre-jumping the air dribble. And it works out well for him. AJ is so lethal in the air, but Ricky convinced him not to go up. And oh my goodness, he still just got away with one again, though. AJ can't quite find the angle this time. The dribble is covered by Ricky, but it's not over yet. And Ricky went far out to grab a boost pad. And AJ finally slams in the eighth after many shot attempts. So second game going to AJ as well, but we got one more replay to watch. AJ versus Ricky. Game number three. AJ still on the same decal. Ricky, it looks like, refreshed here. Trying to find a uh, different winning combination. Nice tight angle shot off the kickoff for the first. We saw in that last game, Ricky had got off to an early lead as well. But AJ was able to bring it back. AJ, the wall to air dribble. Really nothing to come of it. Not the best of setups. A nice cut from Ricky to not let that ball fall into the corner. Instead, to give himself a bounce setup. And he power shots it. Booming it into the net. 4.30 on the clock. AJ, man, turning back on that ball after picking up one pad. He did not want to give Ricky a free possession. And Ricky flubbing the air roll shot just a little bit. Ball bouncing too high and too directly over the top of his car. He couldn't get up and maintain that forward momentum. AJ, the flip reset, but he fell too far underneath the ball. He is going to use his flip for whatever reason. Pop it up to Ricky. Now Ricky the other way. What a shot from Ricky. The canceled front flip on the wall to air dribble. Showing AJ how it's done. And going up 3-0. Another kickoff win. Another potential wall to air dribble to put this ball... It's really, really high. Hard to start dribbles that way. And so Ricky will let it fall back down to the ground and actually found a way to get a shot attempt out of it. It seemed like even when he fell back down to the ground that he was too far past the ball to really, you know, make any sort of good challenge. But AJ let him do so. to get his first on an immediate kickoff goal. Not a bad way to break the seal. Try and stop the Ricky momentum. AJ camera check to see if Ricky was going to let him have the ball or not. And Ricky actually did turn. But must have been really low on boost. Tried to pre-flip into that ball when he didn't connect. It was easy pickings for AJ. So two in a row off the kickoffs. AJ trying to close the early lead from Ricky right away. Ricky thought he maybe saw an open net. But his side flip shot does not have enough power. AJ, the dribble, the flip reset, the shot. And that is an AJ classic right there. A great full field dribble. And you expect something like that from AJ in every ranked game you see him play. And it's all about the setup. You can tell when AJ gets the right setup or when any air dribbler gets the right setup. The defenders are really in trouble. That time it was a really fast dribble, but AJ still was able to stick with it. This time, Ricky down the other side of the field being a bit of a pest as AJ cannot break up the play. Doesn't matter how many clips you get. If you don't end up winning the game, they're all for nothing. And Ricky right now in the lead. A great wall to air dribble of his own, but the ball falling a little bit too far away from the net. And he still tried to milk out a shot, but he probably should have just tried to stay alive in that one. A great counter from AJ. Ricky almost getting back for that save. But he side flips in and stays in the post. AJ trying to make an air dribble out of almost anything. A great flip reset wave dash to catch the ball. He did a, a very great mechanical play there. No doubt about it, maybe one of the best mechanical plays in all the replays we've watched so far. The problem was, 
It wasn't actually really for any sort of shot attempt. Ends up giving away the ball shortly after. And Ricky goes back up too. The bounce dribble from AJ gets the pre-jump out of Ricky. Instead of taking it back down to the ground, he did try and get a cheeky pop, see if he could pass it past Ricky, but instead lobbed it right into his defense. AJ, the double jump bump. Can Ricky clear this? He can't. It's just an impossible angle. Six five, Ricky, a huge delay kickoff. Doesn't like the way the kickoffs have been going so far. Ready to mix it up, trying to catch this one. But AJ has turned and challenged at every moment he possibly can, it feels like. If he's retreating back to net while Ricky starts a possession, AJ is always, always, always looking for that opportunity to turn around and get right back into play instead of letting Ricky set up anything. Now this soft shot from Ricky, he's found himself in a bunch of awkward angles where if he could just get power out of a shot, he has AJ out of position, but positions are not easy to score on. AJ, what a shot here. Let's go back and look at this just real quick from his perspective. It didn't seem like it was an easy one. Ricky bumps him into the corner. Oh, he just plays so perfectly through the disruption of his line. Sorry, I tried to skip the replay by pressing X there. 6-6. Six, six. AJ has brought it back. It took the majority of the game, but he's tied it up. Ricky doing a check to see if AJ's coming, and he is, so he just fully retreats. Notice he's not going to be able to turn in time. Ooh, an awkward landing. That was a mistake mechanically from Ricky. He should have been able to save that and stick with the ball to clear it away, but he let himself land, you know, at a 90 degree angle from where he needed to go and didn't hold the power slide, but I'm not even sure power slide could have helped him on the back wall in those situations. Ooh, trying to Goomba stomp AJ. It's not gonna work. AJ with open field. All of a sudden, a two goal lead for AJ. Ricky letting the wheels come off a little bit late into this game. Still a minute left to go. And only a two goal lead. Not too much, especially when Ricky gets this first possession. A nice chip in the midfield, and AJ can't clear it away. He sends it up right into the top corner. Ricky, the wave dash kickoff. Should be able to get midfield boost here and possession as AJ goes all the way to his back corner. Ricky, though, a little bit awkward. AJ is actually able to close all that distance just because of an awkward dribble setup from Ricky on the back wall. Can he steal AJ's back corner? He can't. He also searched for the demo but couldn't find it. 30 seconds for Ricky to find a goal. Not the best of air trouble setups, and Ricky knew it, so he had to back off this ball. Clear to the post. Was certainly greedy. A nice save, but he needs more than a nice save as these seconds wind down off the clock. Two good saves in a row. He might get this one last shot opportunity. A really strong touch on the air dribble. The best he can hope for is the 50, but AJ covers it to the clock at zero. AJ will pinch it away, and AJ going to take all three of these games against Ricky, although a couple of them very, very close. AJ may not be on our stream, but he obviously has the 1v1 prowess.